Hey guys, this is Xavier Hacking for HackingSVP.com and Interdobs. And in this video, I want to show you a cool scenario where we are going to combine a bit of SAP Analytics Cloud and Analysis for Office. So, as you may know, in Analysis for Office 2.5, which was released last summer in 2017, it is possible to connect to your models that you have in the SAP Analytics Cloud. So what you now see on my screen is in fact the SAP Analytics Cloud and I can go to the models that I have in here. And what they added in Analysis Office 2.5 is that we can connect to all these models. In fact, not all the models, we can only connect to models that contain data. So no live models um yet so what i want to show is first how to do that how to set that up but then uh, we're going to take a few steps further we're also going to try to save an analysis for office workbook based on such a data model from analytics cloud we're going to save the workbook also on the analytics cloud and then see how we can reconnect that workbook so we're going to switch over to analysis for office. Let's start it up. All right. And in there we go to the analysis step where we need to create a new data source that lets us connect to the analysis, um, to the analytics cloud. So to do that, we have to create a new local data source. For that we have to skip the login screen for uh, the BI platform. We're not doing anything with that now. So this lists um, the, the locally defined connections that we have for analysis for Office. And it's a bit hidden where we, or how we should add this connection. You have to right click somewhere here in the white area. Then you get a few options. So you can create a new HANA connection, but also a new SAC connection. So let's do that and let's enter um, the name for our connection. Let's copy the URL. There we go. And click next to connect. Okay, so there we go. And we now see this area tab. And here I can find the data models that I can use as a source for my analysis for Office Workbook. So these are the same models as the ones that I have in SAP Analytics Cloud when I enter the cloud via Feather Browser. So let's pick one, let's uh, choose this one. Okay. And it already loads all my key figures that I have in this model. And on the right side, we see all the dimensions. So now I can, now I can just use analysis for office as we are used to use it uh, based on BW sources or HANA views. And I also have all the interactivity options like filtering and swapping act access and putting on background filters and doing some calculations. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, but this was already available uh, for a while. So what we saw is that we are also able to save this workbook. So let's hit this one and also remove the data before saving. We can now save the workbook. Let's do that on the desktop. Yes. Now let's quit analysis for office and go back to the SAP analytics cloud. So if we go to the, uh, to the files here, then we have an option here to upload documents. 
upload file. So I can use that to bring in my analysis for Office workbook that I just saved on my desktop. There we go. So there it is. So on top, my new Excel file shows up. So what I now can do is I can now open this Excel file from here. And I set up um, Google Chrome to automatically open Microsoft Excel in case such a file um, is downloaded. So as you can see, because I set the refresh on open setting in this analysis for Office Workbook, it's automatically trying to refresh uh, the document. And as I was still logged in to SAP Analytics Cloud, um, there is no pop-up as such that asks me uh, for my credentials. So as you can see now, I can continue my analysis from here without the need to log in or to select my query again. So as you can see, I can now uh, move in state, for example, and add a city. So to conclude this short walkthrough, I think we can uh, state that the, the scenario has some potential, of course. It's still very, very basic. Um, my expectation is that besides saving the workbook to the BI platform and to the BW platform, a third option will be added somewhere in this year, probably. And also for the open workbook, the same will happen. So then we don't have to do the manually saving and uploading each time. Also on the SAP Analytics Cloud side, still a lot of stuff is missing. So here we have our uploaded file, but we are not able to schedule it, for example, while on the BI platform, we do have that option. What also is missing is uh, a generated link to this file. So normally, if you share a document then I will also show you um, a direct link to this file. And you can use that link um, in, in your browser to store it as a, as, a, as a favorite, but also in the SAP Analytics Hub. So if I show you one of the stories and share those, then you'll see this link. And I can just copy paste this link in an Analytics Hub asset. So then we have all the links uh, on a central place. And of course, to make this really work, it's absolutely necessary to have also the live data models available and not only the data acquisition models. Okay, that's it for now. See you next time. Bye.